This is an excerpt from my new book, A Quiet Mind, A Mystic Journey Out of Insanity, animated by my friend Oz. To me, the secret to happiness is a continual dying to one's false self or ego, brick by brick, day after day. Let in that seawater as much as you can. Feel your pain and ecstasy to its fullest. Deny nothing. Once you have truly felt the full extent of your repressions, your traumas, your pain, your karma, only then will you find peace. This madness, which always arrives unexpectedly, wants to heal us and then leave if we would only allow ourselves to surrender to it. Rather than fighting to hold back the flood, we need to allow this mad, sacred tide to overwhelm us entirely and simply let go. For most people, this idea will be completely new, even frightening. However, among the true spiritual seekers of history, this approach to the divine has always been a central truth. Diminishing the ego through meditation is a central principle within Buddhist and ancient Hindu teachings. The mystic saints of Christianity, all of whom would certainly be diagnosed as bipolar by today's standards, such as St. Francis of Assisi, St. John of the Cross, St. Augustine, and St. Teresa de Vila were very aware of the need to surrender to this divine madness as well. Perhaps theologian Evelyn Underhill said it best over 100 years ago in her classic book Mysticism when she wrote of the mystic saints, their shells were wide open, they knew the tides of the eternal sea. A Quiet Mind is available through Chipmunka Publishing, and if you're interested in more info or reader reviews, you can check out the links to my blog on the right.